Next Week in Wolfboro is underwritten by the Downtown Grill Cafe. The Downtown Grill Cafe is located at 33 Main Street in beautiful Wolfboro, New Hampshire, with a fantastic view of Lake Winnipesaukee and Cape Park. Hours of operations are daily from 7 a.m. until 3 p.m. For more information about this underwriter, check out the website, www.downtowngrill.cafe. Welcome to Next Week in Wolfboro. I'm your host, Zach Pickle. And I'm Kristen Cooper. We are coming to you from the Wolfboro Community Television Studios, where we bring your community to view. We say thank you to our friends at the Downtown Grill Cafe for underwriting Next Week in Wolfboro. It is through the support of underwriters and donors like you that programs like this are possible on Wolfboro Community Television. If you would like to underwrite a program for Wolfboro Community Television, please contact our producers at 569 -0219. We also want you to let your friends and family from out of town know they can watch this program on Facebook and YouTube. Once you're logged into either Facebook or YouTube, just search for Wolfboro Community Television and you'll find us on Next Week in Wolfboro. Alright, let's start out with a report from the Chamber of Commerce. Ms. DeVries is at the train station with a report. We're sending over to you, Ms. DeVries. Hi and welcome to Next Week in Wolfboro. My name is Mary. I'm sitting outside the former railroad station, also the Wolfboro Information Center. Stop by and say hi, or if you need information about anything you hear today or any time in the future, we're, we're here all year round. So another big week in Wolfboro, you'll have lots to do or just sit and relax and take it all in. Uh, on the 20th, that's Saturday, the 20th of August, it's the 31st annual water ski championship and this is presented by the Abenaki, pardon me, Abenaki Water Ski Club right here in Wolfboro. It all takes place over in Back Bay. You can have a, you get a great view from Front Bay Park or from the Bridge Falls Path. It, they're out by 8 in the morning. They'll be there all day and it's a lot of fun to see them compete. There's a the slalom races and course and jumping it's really a lot of fun that's saturday the 20th which is also the return of the annual granite man triathlon this all kicks off at Kerry beach on forest road at nine in the morning it'll wrap up about two in the afternoon you can call parks and recreation if you're interested in participating and that number is five six nine five six three nine also on the 20th at 10 in the morning until 2 over at the Wright Museum, it's the now annual, oh my goodness, ninth annual cruise into the Wright. There'll be antique cars, hot rods, motorcycles, and I think some food vendors out there. Again, that's Saturday the 20th, 10 to 2 at the Wright Museum. Their phone number is 569-1212 community bandstand concert that night seven o'clock show in the bandstand in Cape Park and this time around it will be the wooden Nichols band again seven o'clock on the Saturday the 20th uh, the 25th of August is the New Hampshire Boat Museum's annual free admission day so you can get in there they're open from 10 to 4 on that day the 25th on the 26th of August, the Governor Wentworth Arts Council is presenting a chalk art. So one of the Arts Council's artists, Katie, uh, she will be there from 10 to 4. That's on the 26th of August at the Wright Museum. And you can register in advance by going to the Governor Wentworth Arts Council's website or give us a call, like I said, here and we can help you out. And annual sidewalk sale days, Friday and Saturday, August 26th and 27th, all over town. Get out and see what you missed, maybe. And some special end of the year items will be on the tables outside and also indoors for you. That's Friday and Saturday, the 26th and 27th. And 27th, a reminder, every Saturday morning at 10 o'clock, you can meet right here outside, no reservation necessary. And uh, Mr. John, uh, Dr. Pardon me, John Foley, will bring you on a historical walking tour. So again, 10 in the morning, every Saturday leaves from right here. Give us a call if you need some help with this, 569-2200. And rem remember to shop, dine, and have fun in your town. See ya. Thank you, Mr. Vries. Here are some other things we would like to share with you, starting with, on Saturday, August 20th, 
The Wooden Nichols Band is playing at the Cape Park Community Bandstand at 7 p.m. Bring a blanket or a chair to the park and enjoy the show. Great Waters Music Festival is having a concert in the clouds at Castle in the Clouds at 7.30 p.m. This time, the performance will be by Michael Cavanaugh. On Tuesday, August 23rd, the Wolfball Public Library provides Toddler Time Story Hour at 10.30 a.m. Advanced science is recommended. The Wolfboro Public Library will be hosting a program called Life Downstairs, where they serve in culture in fact, fiction, and film at 6.30 p.m. On Wednesday, August 24th, the Wolfboro Budget Committee is meeting at the Wolfboro Public Library at 6 p.m. On Thursday, August 25th, the Wolfboro Public Library provides preschool story hour at 10.30 in the morning. Advanced sign-up is recommended. The Wolfboro Area's Farmer's Market is now open every Thursday from 12.30 to 4.30 p.m. at the Nick. Also at the Farmer's Market is a library story time featuring garden and farm themed stories. This, the library will be having this story time every Thursday at 2 p.m. at the Nick. The Lakes Region Genealogy Interest Group has a program at the Wolfboro Public Library at 6.30 p.m. On Friday, August 26th, the Wright Museum will be having a chalk art show between the hours of 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. I'll send it over to Liz Helfer for more information. Sending it over to you, Liz Helfer. My name is Liz Helfer. I'm the president of the Governor Wentworth Arts Council. We've been working really hard to bring you the chalk art event with featuring artist Katie Rundi from Vermont. She's going to be here on Friday, August 26, from 10 to 4 p.m., working in the upper parking lot of the Wright Museum to create a beautiful artwork that is themed on the exhibitions in the museum. At the same time, you can come and enjoy food by Peaks Food Truck and do your own chalk art, which is good. We're going to provide the chalk and some shade and some chairs, and we can't wait to see you there. Thank you, Liz. Okay, let's send it over to the Parks and Recreation Department. Assistant Recreation Director Bo Betts is ready with an update on all things Parks and Rec. We're sending over to you, Bo Betts. Hey, Zach. Bo here from Wolfboro Parks and Rec. Hope everybody's having a great week. Uh, we are super busy here getting ready for the 39th annual Granite Man. That is this Saturday, August 20th. Um, Granite Man has been on a hiatus now since 2019 due to COVID. Uh, we're super excited to bring it back this year. We got a, a decent size uh, field this year, so um, we're really excited to get back to running this event. Um, Saturday morning, it will kick off at 8 a.m. Um, and we'll be down there most of the day. Uh, spectators, you're more than welcome to come down. We'll have volunteers down there directing for parking. So when you get there, look for volunteers. They'll show you where to park. Uh, one big thing is no dogs are allowed. We ask that you leave your dog at home. We love dogs, um, but they just it, it's not great to have um, at the race. Um, we don't want anything to happen, any dogs to get off leash or, um, you know, there's a lot of people going uh, all over the place. So just keep your dogs at home for Granite Man on Saturday. Um, come on down, check out the event. We do still need volunteers. Um, you're going to see this on Friday. Um, if you're interested in helping out for Granite Man, we have all sorts of different things we could use help for, whether it's parking, uh, on, the, on the course, directing people. Um, we have all sorts of different jobs. If you're willing to uh, volunteer some time on um, Saturday morning, please give us a call or just stop by uh, Saturday morning at 7 a.m. We'll have our meeting for volunteers and we'll find a place for you. Um, it would be great. Um, it's a great race to run, a great scholarship, a great foundation to support. So come on down Saturday if you want to help out. Um, we definitely could use some extra hands. Um, outside of that, we have Fall Soccer is now live for registration. We'll be offering our Minion and Micro Soccer, which is K through first for minions and then second and third grade for micro soccer. That will be Tuesday, Thursdays at the Nick at five o'clock. Um, we opened up registration just the other day. We already have quite a few kids signed up. Um, it's a great program. It's a rec program. It's just to get out, get some exercise, make some friends and have fun. So if you're looking um, for a fall program for your kiddos this, uh, this fall, definitely check out fall soccer. With that, we do need coaches and volunteers. 
I don't need you to be a professional soccer player. We really just need bodies on the field to help kind of keep the kids at their stations and keep them busy. So if you're interested in coaching or volunteering for soccer, if you're going to be there as a parent just watching, we definitely could use some help. Uh, Molly, our program coordinator, will be taking the lead on that program. So you can reach out to Molly. You can call her email. Um, call the rec office or email Molly at mhatch at wolfboroughnh.us. Um, and then we'll do our rec soccer league, which is a travel soccer program for fourth to sixth grade students. Um, again, coaches and volunteers would be great for that. Uh, Molly will take the lead on that program as well. We play different rec departments around the area, um, just rec games. Um, we play Wolfboro, uh, excuse me, Moultonboro, Wakefield, Ossipee, New Durham, Alton. So um, it's a, a chance for the kids to play against other kids in the area. Um, we're bringing that back this year. We had it last year. We, we just didn't have a lot of kids sign up, so we're hoping we can field a team this year. Um, so that's for our, our fall programs. And then we have our fall festival, which is on September 24th here at the Fossfield Pavilion. We are now accepting vendors. Um, so if you are looking to set up a booth here at the Fall Festival, you can find the application on our website or you can just give us a call or send us an email if you have any questions. Um, we're going to have pumpkin painting, we're going to have apples, the Kingswood View Center will have their chili cook-off that day. We have live music, we will have um, goats here for uh, sort of a, a petting station um, and other activities as well. So that again is the Fall Festival on September 24th. Um, Hope you can join us that day here at Foss Field. And if you're interested in uh, setting up a booth, a vendor spot, please give us a call and we can answer any questions you may have. Other than that, we're staying busy here. We've got a lot of stuff coming up. Before you know it, we're going to be moving on to Abenaki in the ring. Um, so I hope everybody has a good week. Back to you, Zach. Thank you, Bobetch. Joyce Davis at the Wilfboro Public Library has our next update. We're sending over to you, Joyce Davis. Thanks, Zach. Like almost everybody else, I bet you're looking for ways to save money and cut expenses, right? Do you know that with your library card, you can borrow passes for free or reduced admission to some awesome places in New Hampshire? Today, I'd like to let you know where your Wolfboro library card can take you. How about Bedrock Gardens? It's a 20-acre garden located on a 35-acre property in Lee, New Hampshire, notable for its landscape design, horticulture, and awesome sculpture garden. How about Castle in the Clouds? Tour the castle in Moultonboro and the grounds, go for a hike, or just enjoy the beautiful views. Your library card can take you to the Courier Museum in Manchester. It's an exceptional small art museum featuring European and American paintings, decorative arts, photographs, and sculpture and there are always lots of special exhibits. Or the Squam Lake Science Center. Located in Holgenis, Squam Lakes features meadows, mature forests, and marsh marshes, and boardwalks that connect interactive natural exhibits where native animals reside. Spend a day safely among black bears, mountain lions, river otters, bobcats, and more. You can easily spend several hours there taking a self-guided tour of the animal exhibits trails. How about a trip to Portsmouth and Strawberry Bank? It's an outdoor history museum located in the South End Historic District of Portsmouth. It's the oldest neighborhood in New Hampshire to be settled by Europeans and the earliest neighborhood remaining in the present day city of Portsmouth. And of course, we're happy to promote our local museums. What other small town can say that they have four museums in their boundaries. We have passes to the Libby, our local natural history museum, the Clark House, the Museum of Wolfboro History, the New Hampshire Boat Museum, and the Wright Museum of World War II History. You might want to check out the websites of these various places for their hours and other information. Then give us a call to see if a pass is available. And I have a note on two upcoming programs. We have a New Hampshire Humanities program coming up Tuesday, August 23rd at 6.30 p.m. It's called Life Downstairs, British Servant Culture in Fact, Fiction, and Film with Anne McClellan. Anne will talk about the history behind the rise and fall of British servant culture 
and why Americans seem so fascinated by their stories in books, movies, and on TV. If you are a fan of Downton Abbey, you won't want to miss this program. And we have our fourth Friday classic film coming up on August 26th at 1 p.m. We'll be showing Mr. Smith Goes to Washington with Jimmy Stewart and Jean Arthur in our cool and comfortable Bradley room. Back to you, Zach. Thank you, Joyce Davis. Josh is outside Calvary Wolfboro with our next report. Sending over to you, Josh. Hello and welcome to CW Today, where we seek to let you know what's going on here at 43 Mill Street. I'm Josh, Justin is away, and uh, we're wrapping up summer just like everybody else. We have one more big event coming up uh, at the end of August here, August 26th and 27th. We're going to have our kids' games. Uh, we'd love to have your children, your nephews, your grandchildren, anyone that would be blessed by it to come by. Um, you can register for it on uh, WolfboroKidsGames.org. All the information that you need is on there. Uh, the times and, and everything's free. Everything's provided. Um, all you have to do is register and uh, show up. And we'd love to have you. It's a, it's a thing that's a cross between uh, American Ninja Warrior and VBS. Uh, so it's a great time. We love uh, blessing the kids in the community. And uh, we hope to see you there. Um, and all, as always, uh, during the summer, uh, we have Wednesday nights, our CW Summer Life, where we come together, have a meal, uh, we have some games, and then we've been going through the Psalms, uh, just uh, taking the Psalm that was taught on from the previous Sunday and just talking about what God taught us uh, through that. And, and then as always, right here under the tent, uh, Sunday mornings, 10 a.m., uh, we have our Sunday services. Um, we hope to see you. If you're in the area visiting or you want to come check us out, we'd love to have you. Uh, if you'd like to know more about uh, Calvary Wolfboro, what's going on here, you can get on your phone, download our app, Calvary Wolfboro, all one word, uh, all lowercase, and all our events, everything, our, our sermons, everything's on there. And then there's calvarywolfboro.org, our website. Uh, check us out. And I just want to encourage you today. Uh, again, we've been going through the Psalms this summer. And in Psalm 139, we see a God who knows us personally. Uh, Psalm 139, David says, for you, were, for you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. There's a God out there, whether you know him or not, there's a God out there that we all have that knows us like that knows who we are intimately inside and out and he loves you he's here for you and uh, i pray that this week you would find him you would find the god that knows you intimately and personally i hope that encourages you and uh hope hopefully we'll see you here at, at calvary wolfboro we'll send it back to the studio thank you josh dupre father cole and deacon charlie are at saint catherine trexel catholic church with a report we're sending over to you father cole and deacon charlie well, Zach, Father Bob here with Deacon Charlie this week at St. Catherine Drexel. Delighted to be on local television. We really appreciate the, uh, the publicity that you give us so we can speak to people uh, in, in their homes. And uh, this day, Friday, uh, this is the 19th, we're having Eucharistic Adoration. And it, begins after the 8 o'clock Mass and it goes until 1 o'clock. So the church is open every day and you can come and visit and pray, but especially on, on Friday, the Eucharistic Adoration is, is quite nice. Now this coming weekend, uh, Saturday and Sunday, is called Deacon's Weekend, which means that all I have to do is offer Mass and the deacons do all the work they do. So, Charlie, what matches do you have? I'm going to be at the, the 4 o'clock on Saturday and the lovely 7 a.m. on Sunday. Right. Uh, and it's an interesting gospel this weekend, Father, that we'll be talking about. And it's like, how do we go out and tell the good news? And um, I've got some interesting analogies on how that can happen. So, <laughs> come and find out about it. All right. And this is also a very interesting time of the year, right? Because we're getting, you know how they say, it's a wonderful time of the year and the parents are all excited because the kids are going back to school, right? 
but it's also that time of year where it's like one more summer weekend and people come up with their families. And you remember last week we spoke about baptisms and people wanting to have their child baptized? The power of this uh, medium here that, that we're able to speak on, on uh, Wolfboro TV, we must have got six or seven requests for baptism last week. So we're all excited about that, but there's also this other opportunity. You're going to have all your families up for one more summer weekend. Talk to them about the love of Christ and the love of God that we're going to talk about this weekend at Mass. And use it as an opportunity if they want to get baptized. We, we had couples who were married by the Justice of the Peace, and now they want to have their Mass come validated in, in the Blessed Sacrament. So there's so many beautiful opportunities. All the families together, you'll have a great time. Talk to them about why you love your faith and why it's important to you. Yeah, I know you had a, a baptism this uh, We did. This, this Sunday. And it was a very interesting baptism. The, the child was a very active child. We had a great time with it. And they have an extended family. That's the, the most beautiful part of it. You have the extended family, everybody's so excited. Yes, yes. Uh, and this is also the time for weddings, same thing. Everybody gets so excited because they see their children get married and, and they're all, you know, parents are all like, when are we going to have a grandchild? <laughs> so it's all very exciting and it's also a blessed opportunity to uh, celebrate our faith. Well, good. And you mentioned about uh, this gospel this weekend. Uh, how do we? I uh, read all the good news. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we we did announce last weekend that Gertrude Hammond, and most everybody knows Gertrude, she's going to be heading up the RCIA, the Rite of Christian Initiation for adults and teenagers and children. So uh, if you have family or friends uh, who would like to enter the church, who'd like to have the sacraments. Uh, Gertrude is, is, is going to be organizing that process. It's not a program, it's a process because everybody has a unique journey uh, uh, with, with Christ. And some are already baptized, some have never been baptized, some are baptized but never been any other sacraments. So she's the one who, and sometimes you can bring a whole family into the church at once, uh, not, not just individuals. Whole family. So uh, keep that in mind. If you know of anybody who would like to be baptized or like the other sacraments, please, uh, please let us know. And Gertrude is wonderful at this father. I mean, she teaches religious ed, so she gets to know all the families. Yeah. Uh, she's a terrific mom herself. She has wonderful children. Uh, so she is a natural at this. I think it's wonderful that she's going to be the new one. Yeah, it's going to be good. good. She, she does have her master's degree from Boston College. Now, it's not Providence College, but well, well, close enough. Close enough. And, and uh, so we're very blessed to have someone so, so qualified. So uh, if you know of anybody, please, we, we'd love to have you join us here at St. Anthony's. Okay? Bless you. Have a great week, everybody. Thank you, Father Cole and Deacon Charlie. And thank you for tuning in to our weekly program. Remember, there's always something to do in and around Wolfboro. If you'd like to add an event to our program, please contact Wolfboro Community Television Station at 569-0219. Or send an email to wctb25 at gmail.com. We hope to see you out and about. And we're looking forward to seeing you next week. With clear eyes and full hearts, I am Zach Pickle. And I'm Kristen Cooper for Wolfboro Community Television. Bringing, Bringing your, your community, community to you. To you.